Hello and welcome back to Pakistan Biography. In this video, we're going to shed some light on a Pakistani sportsman known as Intikhab Alam Khan. Intikhab Alam Khan is a Pakistani cricket coach and former cricketer who played in 47 test matches and four one-day internationals from 1959 to 1977. He captained Pakistan in 17 tests between 1969 and 1975. He also played in the English county cricket for Surrey between 1969 and 1981. Prior to this, Intikhab was professional for several years at West of Scotland Cricket Club in Glasgow and also coached at the Glasgow Academy. In August 1967, at the Oval, he joined Asif Iqbal for a ninth wicket stand of 190. Early Life and Education Intikhab's family were refugees in Lahore for a month and a half. Then Intikhab's uncle, a superintendent of police in Karachi, arranged for the Alams to move there. In Karachi, Intikhab and his two brothers inherited their father's love for cricket. When I was very young, I used to go and see my father play. He was a fast bowler, and so it was sort of a family trip. Intikhab, the middle child of the five siblings, attended church mission school, where he says he benefited from very good sports facilities. I used to bowl quick in those days, when I was very young, and I used to bowl leg break as well. So my elder brother told me, well, if you want to play, there are hardly any leg spinners, so why don't you just concentrate on bowling leg spinners? I took his advice. This is how I became a captain of my school. We won the inter-school tournament. While Intika was bowling in the nets, Kardar started to watch him. When Intika dismissed Wazir Muhammad, who had recently made 189 in a test Caribbean, Kardar was impressed. After the nets was over, Kardar called me and he asked my name and he said, Are you playing tomorrow for the school? Intika recalls, I said, No sir. I have not been selected. He said, oh, then you will play for us tomorrow, for Pakistan. I couldn't believe it. I was over the moon. Intikhab was Pakistan's first one-day international cricket captain. He played three matches as captain, winning two and losing one. He was the manager of the team in the 1992 Cricket World Cup winning Pakistani team along with the 2009 ICC World 2020 team. In 2004, he was appointed the first foreigner to coach a domestic Indian cricket team, coaching Punjab in the Ranji Trophy. On 25th October 2008, he was once again named manager of the Pakistan cricket team by PCB a day after Australian Geoff Lawson was sacked as the national coach of Pakistan. In 2009, Intikhab was the manager of the team when Pakistan had their first 2020 World Cup title by defeating Sri Lanka in the final. When Intikhab Alam and his family was rescued. An Indian cricketer told the Tribune a story. My late father, Baba Harkishan Singh Bedi, who served as the chief electrical engineer with the Simla MC from 1939 to 1948, was instrumental in saving the lives of his Muslim colleagues during the partition. Our house was located in a small colony, a cluster of a few houses in Kethu called Court Hill, where families of six, Muslims, Hindus and Christians lived. 
Simla had been, by and large, quiet and free of riots, but by August 1947, some people from the plains, who were survivors of the massacres in Punjab, caused tension. The Muslim families in the colony decided to migrate to Pakistan. A camp was established near the Gurdwara on the Simla Kolka road for Pakistan-bound migrants. Muslims of the colony, including one of our neighbors, the Khan family, took shelter in our house. However, some Sikh migrants were keen to avenge the massacre of their kin in Punjab. They approached my father to hand over the Muslims to them. Refusing to do so, he warned that they could only harm them over his dead body. The leader of the Sikhs indicated that they would not harm the direct descendants Baithis, of Guru Nanak, but said these Muslims would have to move to the migrants' camp set up by the government. The only route to Gurdwara was from Circular Road passing above our house. Thereafter, they kept a close vigil on our house. I was about 10 and we could see two or three Sikhs with unsheathed swords in their hands, sitting at, at a place overlooking our house. Early one morning, my father woke everyone and pointed to the foggy weather outside during the rainy season. He arranged for the evacuation of the Muslim families to the electric power house located below our house in the thick tree-covered jungle area through a Pagdandi and further to the Simla Kalka road through a jungle track. All affected persons from the colony reached the camp safely. This incident came to mind after what former Pakistani cricketer Intikab Alam told India spinner Bishan Singh Bedi when they met at Gurdwara Kartarpur Sahib recently. Alam narrated that his family, while living in Kethu area of Simla, had been saved from the rioters by a baby family. It's admirable that there are still some people in Pakistan who cherish the memory of a selfless, brave Sikh. The act of saving the Muslims was in stark contrast of the incidents of bloodshed on both sides of the border in 1947. Services for Pakistani Cricket For close to six decades, in various roles, he has been around some of Pakistan cricket's most iconic moments. To be successful on an international level, you need continuity of coaches and the management. In the Kaab Alam. No one has given more of themselves to help Pakistan achieve number one ranking in the test cricket than in the Kaab Alam. He was the common thread through the last 57 of Pakistan's 64 years as a test nation. As a player, captain, selector, a leader of the National Cricket Academy and as a coach or manager for four stints, including today. The test victory at the Oval, his home ground for 13 happy years as a player for Surrey, was fit to rank with any of those in the Cobb has known on the cricket pitch. That was one of the best I've seen, the way we won that test match. These players have shown a lot of character and togetherness and self-belief. In the background, as with all of Pakistan's most memorable triumphs, lay in the Cobb. On the field, he held Pakistan to their first ever test series, victory overseas. Of it, Intikab was the only constant in Pakistan's two terms in ICC events. The 1992 World Cup and the 2009 World T20. His involvement with the national side, stretching back to his debut as a 17-year-old in 1959, has seen off four military rulers, 
eight civilian governments and over 20 heads of the Pakistan Cricket Board. According to White on Green, celebrating the drama of Pakistan cricket, the new book from Richard Heller and Peter Auburn. I think it's passion and love for the game. Whenever I have accepted any responsibility, I accept it as a great challenge and I enjoy it or else I wouldn't be doing it. Retirement In the cop thought that his life in cricket might be over and he might instead devote himself to his family knitwear business in Pakistan. A few months after his retirement from Surrey, he received a message from the chairman of the Pakistan Cricket Board requesting that the two meet. Like football, his idea was to have a cricket manager rather than a coach and give all the power to cricket manager to look after everything. So I had a long meeting with him and they offered me a job. One memory of Intikab and Imran together stands out from the 1992 World Cup. I remember before the final, he went out and he bought himself a t-shirt and then he got a tiger on this, a printed tiger. And when I saw him going for the toss, I looked at him. I didn't say anything to him. I don't want to upset him because I knew exactly what he was going to do. So when he went there, I and Chapel, who was interviewing, asked, why are you wearing this t-shirt? And he said, I want them to play like a tiger. So that paid off.